Well folks, welcome to Random and Desperate. Now today, we've just come out of the hotel and we're on the way to the centre of Bodrum and I'm, we're going to have a look around the place. Apparently there are lots of bars, there's lots of shops, there's apparently there's a big castle and then there's a, a marina as well. Now when you go to abroad, you always find strips where the tourists can go. So come and join me, and join me on the full day at Bodrum. Well, folks here we are we're in Bodrum itself and look over there what I've seen a Burger King I must admit I am craving major burgers and chips because when you stopped it all exclusive let's just say it is mostly for the Europeans and the Turks kind of food but this is the food I like stuff like this burgers pizzas wow. Now this, this is the strip, this is where you can buy all your fancy gear, lots of fake stuff, what you're selling around here, but this is the main shopping centre of this turkey lurkey. Now it took around about 20 minutes to get here, and the taxi was quite cheap. Now most of <coughs> the larger chains have their own buses, but let me just say, for five quid, you could get your old personal taxi and come to this place wow now what i like about all this look at all the traditional flags up and down here why can't we do that in our country so what i'm going to do we're going to have a look around the shops try to find something to eat and maybe a few golden nexes around here Now you'll find when you come to Turkey there is a lot of stray animals especially dogs now dogs are not sacred in this country cats are but dogs are not now they do there is charities what are all dotted all around Turkey what are run by by vets teams Turkish people to try and help the stray dog problem now all you have to do walk around any street in any Turkish village or any major town and you will see a lot of stray dogs. I recommend that you don't stroke them because of there is viruses out there. Come on people, Te there's tetanus and stuff like that. So it is sad to see, especially if you're British and we are a major lover of dogs, but you're, always remember folks, you're a guest in this country and you've got to abide by their tradition and their rules now oh. oh, look at all these now i must admit i do like these what do you think folks what do you think <laughs> do look good now these are only to be honest with you if you look at the price only two, 200 
which is easiest way at five. Every hundred is about two pound fifty. But they do look good, folks. They do look good. All these. Can't see a flipping thing with that one. What do you think, folks, of these glasses? Now, these are about five, a fiver. Thank you, sir. And you take photo also here. Look. Oh, these ones, okay. <laughs> Bad <laughs> boy. So, if you ever want any sunglasses, come and see this gentleman. Yes, yeah, yeah of yeah. course, yes. <laughs> they will come to visit me. Thank you very much. No problem, thank you. And I will give you also a case. Okay, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm a YouTuber. I do stuff on YouTube. YouTube? Yeah. YouTube. Oh, it's good. Yeah. So, I am going to YouTube also? Yeah. Huh? Thank you. Ta. Here they come. So, we are going to be together YouTube? Yeah, we're going to be together. Okay. Yeah. One last time. We are waiting for you. Bad boy, crazy girl. Bad, bad boy, crazy, crazy girl. girl. Okay. Crazy wanted. Yeah. So, you ever in Turkey? Bad boy, crazy is girl. It, yes. Yeah. This is where Random <laughs> got his glasses. <laughs> yes. Thank you very much. What's Thank you very name? much. Ozan. 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 Random. Random. Nice to meet you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Turkey is famous for its fakes. But honestly, they're really good quality folks. And the people, especially in the market area, they're really friendly. They're really friendly. I say that guy. Now these were two these were 200 li 200 lira, which is about five quid in our money. But it's it's all right. Everyone is greedy. Yeah, yeah. You do get my bit quite a bit, but but end of the day, they want their money off you. Just say no, thank you. I'll come back later. But whenever you go round the round islands like this, you're always going to get my bit. It's part of being a tourist because you've got a bag full of money and they want it. They want it. But it is an interesting place. I say, where was in the hotel? They wasn't very friendly. It's mostly. No please or thank you, but here it's a different story. A different story. In Turkey. In Bodrum. Check this out. An English pub. An English pub. Now Anna said they got a full English breakfast. Wow, I'm tempted, I'm tempted. Do you want to go and get a full English? Yeah? Go in here. A full English breakfast in here. Wow. Check that out. A full English breakfast, which is around about five, let's call it Turkish. So, what's that? Two, trying to work it out. About six quid. Maybe about six quid. And that's the thing what I'm going to get. I miss the full. English traditional breakfast. English yeah. Can I have one coat? Right, yes. What would you like um, to drink? Can I have a chocolate milkshake? Yeah. If yeah. we get two sausages for the dog. <laughs> Well. No eating. No, no eating. eating. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, pal. I did try and get your sausages. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll give you some. Full fat, full sugar. Maximum flavour, maximum salt. You have given me in a glass. Now, I've been told, folks, that I always put it in a glass. Because where they store it in cellars, let's just say, things could be running on top of it. So I'll do this for you, Michael. There we go. Cheers. In, I forgot it's cold now. Bodrum. Bodrum. There you go. A full English breakfast. Sausage, eggs, bacon. Chips was a new thing. Uh, beans, mushrooms. This is what I've missed. Pepper, proper bacon, folks. Some salt. And look at this. HP. 
You can book all that thing in two shots. Oh, <laughs> Bacon. HP. There you go, folks. Empty plates. Now, even when we come to places, luxurious places like this, you still miss the full English breakfast. All the Scottish breakfast for you Scottish fans out there. Get told off, by the way. Now this cost, still cost about 10 quid for a full breakfast but you're still paying around here the European prices because like everything else it's gone up but it is what it is but when you stop it all luxury it's mostly caters for the, the Turkish people you just want something British and this answered the call out of that English bar and a full English breakfast it worked out at 1,500 Turkish lira but if I've got my calculations right it's about 20 quid or something like that I can't understand it like it's full. but it's dead friendly so what we're going to do now we're going to head towards the beach bar the beach which is just down there that's our next course of action check out this up there and check out this old room which we're going to have a look at now I've noticed there's quite a lot of Burger Kings around here but check that ruin out that's where we go to head you know what I'm like about my history my uniqueness let's check it out could have been an old mosque years ago that's what I would say if you look the dime the dime amateur especially at the top bet it was an old mosque if you look at the back there yeah that, let's have a look some kind of mosque or old church wow check that out Imagine all the weddings, the old, look at them old windows there. And see how it's raised up at, at the top. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Check this out. There it is, Church of St. Nicholas. That's what it used to look like. See the dome at the top there. That's what it originally looked like, folks. Literally. I love anything like this. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. Unfortunately, all the people, all what's in it now is pigeons. Right, folks, we're right at the front of the the beach now it's not much of a beach folks as you can see all, all it is is a beachfront with old chairs dotted around it that's the castle there's a big castle over there which i need to add that on my list what we might do they're all littered down here is all the shops but you can see all the ships around here so what we might do we might adventure back up there to to, to try to discover but, but look how blue the sea is beautiful isn't it all it's and all it's glory but it definitely would be nice to have some alcohol infested beer, some golden nectar round and, and just drink it in the beach. Wow. Check that castle out over there. That's where we might head to. And then we may have a few golden nectars around the beach front. Sounds like a plan. Well folks, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have a few golden nectars right on the beach front just check this out wow check this out i've never had a beer a golden nectar right at the sea front sounds like it's now if you just look over there it looks like a military warship over there you don't need to see it on camera where the harbour is but in it beautiful check it out dead peaceful it's what you need as a holiday now I'll give you an update, that, I've worked out how much we went to that restaurant, the full English breakfast, worked about about 30 odd quid, <laughs> I suppose it is what it is, so we're going to have a, a beer and we'll find out the prices of this one, but isn't it pretty, peaceful.
No. Well, folks, this is my second large buy. I always ask for a large beer on holiday because otherwise they give you a flimsy small one like this one. That sets on the beach, by the way. The random's having a golden nectar in this lush surroundings. But I will at some point go and discover that castle there. And if you just look over there, just past the boats, you'll see an island far away. And that is Cos, by the way. And I'm going to do a bit of research how to get over there. Because apparently there's a daily boat that goes to the Creek Islands. But at least more research will will be needed. And that is like, the I call that the Black Islands over there, which is still part of Turkey. But it is beautiful, isn't it? The only thing what it's lacking is a sandy beach. But because we're in like a volcano part of Turkey, that's why you get all these pebbles and these rocks. Because you think all these hills years ago used to be volcanic. And over the years, the centuries, tens of thousands of years, the eruption made this island and even this even the pebbles and the what we see now and even the rocks around this glorious island. So I'm gonna carry on drinking my local beer in So we have new bars now and we're more into the town centre now my third bikes of Golden Nectar and we're actually watching some kind of football game Liverpool versus oh, no. and it is nice I mean a nice surroundings in Turkey Lake in Bodrum drinking Golden Nectar at its finest it's not as cheap as people think I say two hours, we had two hours to drink one cocktail, you're talking 25 quid. So cheers everybody, cheers. I have been, let's just say, recognised, I've got my friends who have subscribed to my channel. And there we, there's this little store over there. Go and check it out, so if you're ever in Borough, ever in, go and speak to this lovely guy, yeah? My name is Billy Bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> I have the my shop. All right, okay. T-shirt. Yeah. Cheaper than Prime Money. Yeah. Cheaper than shoplifting. <laughs> Cheaper than Salvation Army. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just over there. You just go over there. That's where it is. And that's where Random's bird actually bought some items. So... I can't speak. I just... Okay. Good, bad. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to drink this. Golden nectar in the streets of Bodrum. 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 <laughs> Bodrum. Cheers. Bodrum is a nice place. Well, folks, I am on. Let's just say my fourth time of golden nectar. And I'm still watching football. I know I don't, don't like football. What well, this is what I like about it is, let's just say, enjoy the goals of Nectar in this lush establishment. I found a really good place, a really good place. I think he's been a constant threat to West Ham. Well, well, folks, still in this part, I've had a few golden Nectars. Been looked after by the Turkish people. Let's just say, I've had a few. Makes it even more difficult. But it's been great. We get something like a pizza or something. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. Nice pizza or something. But there is quite a few local hotties around the streets of Turkey. Wow. The bird has just gone shopping, buying more fake stuff. She loves it. She loves shopping. Again. Um, mm -hmm. Highly recommend. Highly recommend. Yeah. <laughs> of the golden nectar, and I met this lovely gentleman. Hey, eh? <laughs> I win. And probably the next video, or maybe the next video, I'm going to go in his shop and spend 
hundred quid buying, let's just say, stuff for myself. And I would like you to join me on this little adventure on this lovely Turkish turkey lurking in Bodrum. Sounds like a plan. Random approves. And random has a has about six pints of golden nectar in this stand. It's not finished yet. I've ordered some food here. I've ordered a pizza. And cheers, folks. Cheers. Bargain. Bargain. Yeah. Well, I've got a pepperoni pizza and the bird has got, what do you got? Burger and chips. This is what we need, folks. This is what we need. Those British people like our crap. Prayer mm. time, folks. Prayer time. Folks, that's the end of the adventure. I hope you enjoyed it in the Bodrum. Uh, Bodrum <laughs> in Turkey. It is a really good place. Now, I was a bit, let's just say, miffed off when I got to the hotel. There's no polite, but we met that lovely gentleman and he was he was great, wasn't he? <laughs> Yeah. He, he, was, he was really friendly. No wonder the moon I spent in his shop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shop with me but too. He, he, people like that make the holiday. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to his shop, probably the next video, and spend 100 quid on. Random's having a week over. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> and what I'll do, I'll put the links in the descriptions up below of that to me. Because apparently you can order stuff from him and he'll deliver it straight to England for you guys. So thanks for watching folks and I'll see you again next time for whenever the adventure awaits.